Hi, Debbie here. I believe this is my winnings from Jane Marge 60th birthday challenge. This is the only thing that I'm expecting from overseas, and it just came. And um, yeah, I won her third prize. I was the third prize winner. So let me open this up, and um, we'll take a look and see what's inside. Okay, I pulled everything out of the bag, so let's take a look. Oh, this is what I have here. It's my little note saying, Hi, Debbie, congratulations, sweetheart. You won third prize. Marie Antoinette Fabric Book. Hope you like it. Lots of love. Crafty, Happy crafting, Jane Marge. Oh, you know I'm going to just love that. So let me set this here. I'm this kind of lumpy bumpy here. I'm right in the middle of working on my Peter Rabbit album, and I didn't want to put everything away because I would never get it back where I want it, so I covered everything up. <laughs> so anyway, that's why it's got a little lumpy bumpy over here, but oh my gosh, look what she has it all wrapped up in. <gasps> Oh, look at this. But first I want to show you what she has it wrapped up in. Isn't that pretty? Oh my, Jane, this is really pretty piece. Set that there and there. So let's take a look at this. Now she goes over all this on her channel because she made it so she knows exactly what she used and what she did and there's just no way I'm going to be able to remember all that but we you know a lot of it is visual so we'll just kind of look at it together and um, you know some things I can say but a lot of it is just going to be if you want some more detail just go over to her channel and you can get all the information there but oh my gosh look at the beautiful trims she used and she got these real pretty um, flower clusters that she's put on little ribbon roll rose and that's a really pretty that really turned out really pretty Jane I just got a little button or something that's using it to hold the closure and this is all like she said it's a fabric book and here's Marie Antoinette she got another one of those little flowers she's got those sporadically around on this on the spine oh check this spine nice spine I don't know if it comes like this, but that really turned out really nice. I like that. That is really pretty. I'm trying to look at it real close too. So I'll have to after I do my video, I'll have to go over it again more close. And um, beautiful piece of fabric. Beautiful piece of fabric and some more really pretty lace trims. And, oh, I thought that was a closure. This is actually just a pretty little, it's on with the little clasp. Oh, I thought it was tied, but it's not. But that is really a pretty touch. So I hope, you know, it's a good thing I looked before I decided to undo it first. Because <laughs> I would have never got my bow back the way she has it. Oh, look at this. I'm trying to get it all in. I do need to move back a little bit, maybe. Or I need to move up and... Such pretty appliques that she's used. And some really pretty pearl trim. Let's see if I can bring my arm around this way and hold it like that, maybe. And yeah, usually when things are this big, it's kind of hard to show the show the whole thing in one picture. So we'll probably just do like a page at a time. I think it'll be easier. And then she's got beads going down the spine here too, in between the two pages. Another pretty image. Little flower. This is actually a paper flower. And here's got a little button with a little silk flower inside. She's got this all framed. A little beaded flower that. Some more real pretty. I think we're caught right here. I need, a, I need to set this down and see what I'm caught up on because I don't want to accidentally pull something apart that shouldn't come apart. And then we have this. Yeah, because in shipping things get moved around and discombobulated and squished and all kinds of things. These are pretty beads. Some more flower clusters, another pretty image. This is like 
blue page. I don't know if you go color pages, but this is really pretty. Wow, that's this is actually a great big paper clip under here. She's in, you know embellished it with some beads and some paper, and she's got a little dangle pearl coming off. Look at that! Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna go on this page here. Some more beautiful trim. Another one of those beaded flowers. And then she's got some ribbon that she's framed, this crown image here. Another beaded flower, a pretty button. It's real pretty dainty. That's real pretty. I like this a little dainty trim here. Then we go over to this page. Oh, this is like a pocket page and it's got stuff in it. Let me Oh no, this is, I thought, I thought this actually came out of this pocket. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually attached. Let me, sorry, I'm wiggling around all over the place. Well, anyway, this is a pocket, so this comes out. So let me just remove this for now so we can see the pocket. And, um, oh, look at this real pretty trim. Oh, Jane, I like this little teeny trim you've got right here. I'm liking that. And then she's and she looks like she, this is a real pretty pink. This is my favorite color pink. I don't know if it's picking it up, but I like that color pink. And she's got, you know, the fabric in the background. And now let's go over to this page, and this is attached. So, won't come off. And then she's got some more. Look at this beaded trim here. And then she's got more of this trim in that real pretty pink. And then this closes, and we've already seen the back. And then in the pocket, she has great cut-aparts, these little doily cut-aparts. I call them cut-aparts because that's what I end up doing with them. I just end up cutting them apart and using them like that. So we have this one, and she, oh, she has a really big one too, and this one here. So these were my winnings from Jane Marge's 60th birthday challenge she had. Jane, this is a beautiful fabric book you made. Thank you so much. And I want to thank all of you for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.